So in Howard the Duck's 50th anniversary, his birthday, we found out that he a real duck inside this damn robot duck body. The shit starts off in 2025 in the future of the canon universe of Marvel, and that's the Great Hero War, the, the eighth one, I think there's the sixth one. Seven, my bad. They going to go fucking look for a way to stop this shit. They meet up with Spider-Man, fucking Hawkeye, his ass died. And this motherfucker called the Peeper, he saw his ass, his last breaths. The Peeper is the Watcher's cousin. And he takes him through the multiverse to try to find him a way to beat this shit in another multiverse. So they went to, to the what if shit. So we go to a universe where the Howard the Duck won his, president, uh, his presidential election. They get an alert from the damn Avengers that there's a Galactus level threat uh, coming, right? All the heroes get snatched up by these things and these motherfuckers pop down and they ships look like uh, digital projectors. These the aliens. Like I said, they got the alien, I mean, the, uh, the heroes all trapped. So Howard the Duck surrendered, right? Under one condition, if he's selling the rights to Earth, he needs to know who he, what he's getting in bed with, right? And his fucking uh, vice president, he went to go with him. So they both went in there. And basically, they ass want to make uh, money off the heroes and put their ass in this world where they always got to fucking do action type shit. So Howard the Duck was like, fuck that, that shit off. And then that's when uh, we find out that this fucking vice president has Omega on his hands and he started beating the fuck out their ass. The whole ship blew the fuck up and he jumps out and that was the end of that shit. Because his ass resigned from being the president immediately. Go to another Earth, right? And this is where he becomes an X-Man. Proteus uh, Mag Metagard, fucking Moria Metagard's brother. Her, I mean, her, her her son. This motherfucker turns this motherfucker into a mutant. His ability is invernability. So is his uh, physical harm from new experience, except ment mentally and emotionally. The X-Man come recruit his ass. They train him, give him a suit, but his ass ended up fucking up during one of the missions. So they made him watch the fucking new mutants. The damn new mutants is getting bullied by these motherfuckers. He's like, fuck that. Hey, Mirage, fucking make your uh, powers to make the nightmares come to life. They scared the shit out of him. Emma Frost sees that shit, and she wants him to, uh, to join her squad, the Hellions. But he like, fuck that. I already got my squad. A few years later, this shit was after that fall of X and all this shit. That's when fucking uh, uh, dude, uh, Ma Moria Taggart's son comes. Just before he was finna fight the X-Men, he made his ass not a mutant no more from his reality warping powers. Fucking Xavier told uh, Kurt to get his ass to fuck up out of there, and that's how that shit ended. Then we go to space and see that Howard the Duck becomes the new Star-Lord, right? They up here getting, like, lost animals and shit, and fucking Rocket's mad as fuck at that shit. So he was like, alright, bitch, let's go find these motherfuckers that's still in Earths and shit. So they go over to the planet where they got the signal of where the people at that's still in the planet. They get out the ship. And they meet up with this damn beaver dude that he had killed back in value one issue nine. Their whole plan is basically to bring the planets back to life because they was like dead somewhat and they had no vegetation. Howard was going to leave them alone, but the uh, damn fucking guardians were like, fuck, they, they kicked his ass out to the curb and they was going to call Kitty to lead the fucking guardians again. Get back to the main continent. He's like, what the fuck was that supposed to do? It didn't tell us shit. I was miserable in every fucking universe. So they was leaving, right? And he was like, man, I want a snack. So a girl was like, all right, I got you. His fucking head pops open. And that's when we find out that this motherfucker is a duck. She feeds him and then they leave. Oh, yeah, Spider-Man, he wanted to see in other universes if he was doing okay. He was like, all right, just a second. Well, uh, he's like, I got to go peep something else out. And then Spider-Man leaves and that's the end of that shit. You want to see more adventures of uh, Howard the Duck, go read this old shit. Especially go read this Guardians of the Galaxy where Kitty Pryde becomes uh, the leader of the Guardians. And she was dating Queter, uh, Peter Quinn at the time. Peter Quill. This is a cool little one shot. How y'all feel about it?